Hey everybody, welcome to the O20 series. I'm Free Sky Steve, and this is part one of a 20 part series where I cover setting up a plane from start to finish, and then we go beyond that. First of all, who the heck am I? Well, you might have seen some of my videos in the past and realized that I don't show my face on camera very often. So here it is, lock it in a memory because the rest of the series are hiding away once again. Anyway, what I do is I actually do work for Free Sky, cover North America along with Free Sky Ben, and we go out to different flying events and I get to know you guys, I get to talk about the transmitters, and I give out my business card with my personal cell phone number and my personal email address. And what I've discovered over time is you guys actually call me up and have questions. And after a while, I started writing down the questions that I got asked repeatedly. How do you bind a transmitter? How do you set flaps? How do you set up landing gear? And I went out and I made a short list of all like the 15 or 20 most commonly asked questions. And I found videos for all that that were online. And I gave it to people. Here's the information you're looking for. This is how you do this. This is how you do that. But over time, I realized that we need more content and it just wasn't getting created fast enough at the time. So I started making my own videos and that was just down and dirty. I would set up a microphone and I would work Ethos Simulator and then show you how various things worked. And that's nice, but some of these videos have gotten stale because with Ethos 1.5, things have changed. And because of that, I decided that needed to record some of these videos over again. Also, when I heard from some of you guys, you said that you needed more help from start to finish how to set things up. There are videos on various topics, but there were gaps in between. So I wanted to make a series from start to finish that describes how I would go about setting up a plane. And I do it in such a manner as if I were with you and we're together one evening and I would explain, here's how I set up a plane, here's all the different things, and take my time and explain all the different sections to you. Each of these videos is between 10 to 15 minutes long and I am not trying to make these things tech heavy. I wanted it not to be full of minutia. I didn't want people to get cut and lost in the weeds when it comes to the content. What I really wanted was something that the average pilot could watch and follow along and pick up. I also use this as a basis to learn more about the operating system and explore on your own because it is capable of so much more. What's been great about Ethos 1.5 and making this, believe it or not, I've recorded all the videos already. What is great about this is that there's so much more to Ethos 1.5. I am really impressed how much better it has gotten, how much more you can do with it. And we've, I mean, I've really set up some really cool things. I think you'll get excited to watch it. But before we jump into all the different topics in the series, which will be next, and also talk about the plane, I will describe what O stands for in the O20 series. O stands for Ohana, and Ohana means family, as you learn from Lilo and Stitch, if you ever watched that movie. Um, and I feel that FR Sky, we are a big family, the community of fellow pilots, and as they explained in the movie, Ohana means no one gets left behind or forgotten. And I just wanted to make a series for people who are not you know, computer scientists by trade. People who are just normal hobbyists who are smart but would like things explained a little bit better. So I hope you follow me along in this series and I do thank you for watching. Well, let's take a little look at all the things we're going to talk about in this series. We start off by talking about the transmitter, setting it up, and getting it in good working order so that you can make sure that you can get the most out of it. Then we go into setting up a model. This is going into the model creation. I talked about register and binding. Talk about fail save. And a video on the Ultimate Flaps tutorial. So this is my probably third or fourth time going over flaps. And I've gotten really good at explaining that by now fantastic flight mode so this is really the first time that where we have flight modes incorporated and don't worry it's not going to be very complex but you will be able to do some amazing things with flight modes you will be able to do stuff like have independent trims for flight mode we're going to have a takeout flight mode 
a cruising flight mode and a landing flight mode. And as you set trims for each one of those flight modes, every time you switch to another, another flight mode, it remembers the trims on the flight mode you're switching to. Really cool. Uh, we talk about dual rates, expo, and differential. We talk about landing gear, tail hooks, lights, and floats. Um, this is a, a video about free mixes, and so we'll get into that. I talk about timers and the timers have been actually improved in ethos 1.5 and get all into that we get into to assigning sounds on a switch telemetry logs and other special functions that's also something that's been greatly improved in ethos 1.5 is the special functions the can mixes are the uh, essentially what that's about is all the extra mixes you get by hitting the small plus button in the mixer menu or mixes menu as they call it home screen uh, we're talking about the home screen why it's the icing on the cake you can actually do a lot more with your home screen now you can assign them in flight modes and we will set that up we're going to talk about cloning models moving them and sharing them with others that is one another amazing thing about ethos you can share your models with other people and I talk about ethos suite and how to upgrade to 1.5 I talk about the multi-protocol module because a lot of people have had questions about that and I did spend some time talking about that. I talked about how, where and how to get help when you have questions and pick two. Oh, this was the free sky line overview. So this is, I was talking about, there's about five or six different lines. When we're talking about the transmitters, receivers, um, talk about RB units which are redundancy boards we talk about sensors and servos so I've pointed out my favorite two of each one of those this was another video I put out, made out for the fact and then I had to go back and reshoot a couple videos so this was episode six which was outputs mechanical trims and sub trims and endpoints and I also talked about how to reverse them and then finally uh, I talked about trims instant trims cross trims and independent trims one thing i mentioned in these videos is that sub the trims sub trims and mechanical trims all work together i call it the benevolent trinity of rc because you can work with all three of them and it's gotten so much better with ethos 1.5 so that is an overview of all the different topics we're going to cover in this series so it's time to pick a model to work with for our build and i had to think about what it is i wanted to do with this i mean i got a look at a uh, what was that f-18 build yesterday for a turbine jet it was the most complex thing i've ever seen in my life it was unbelievable it was a work of art the coating was so magnificent but there's no way in hell I could ever convey that in a video series. It would take me 300 episodes to get across. And it's more than I think most people want to take on. So what I wanted was something simple, straightforward, understandable. Something that wasn't too beginner-ish, yet something that was affordable. Something that you can get worldwide. Something that was respected. And what came to mind was this plane the Hobby King Tundra. This is the new version of it. And even though this plane has been kind of hard to get over the last couple years uh, hobby king is back with a vengeance and this thing was only out for a couple weeks and its initial shipment sold out so quickly because the demand for it is so great so that's the kind of stuff i was looking at however this is even though this is a great plane what i focused on was something a little bit different that is the hobby king Avios Grand Tundra. Uh, so this is the older version. I think they're probably going to have something new closer to the Inspire coming out fairly soon. Perhaps the price will be go up a little bit higher, but still. This is also a great plane. I've flown this before. It's a lot of fun. The problem with it is that when you take a plane and you scale it up, all you do is just make it larger. Sometimes things work against it. And so a plane like this suffers from adverse yaw simply because it's getting larger. And because of that, it needs more rudder in the turns. And this is the kind of thing that a computerized radio can really help out with. Also, differential makes a huge difference in this plane. 
So with that in mind, I've wanted a plane like this, something that is a decent sized plane, something you wouldn't be embarrassed to take to the club field with you. And this was it. This is what stood out in my mind. And so if you have any questions as we go on, please feel free to leave in the comments. Otherwise, let's move on to the next episode as we set up the transmitter. Thanks for watching.